As a streamer, you want to make sure that your viewers have the best streaming experience possible. Restreaming is the solution to this, but can it go even further? Hey, I'm Joe, and I'm here to tell you about the next step forward in the world of streaming. Streamster. Streamster provides streamers with a unique restreaming solution that includes multi-streaming. This means that as well as being able to broadcast to multiple different platforms at once, such as Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and so on, you can also switch to different devices in the same stream without having to set up your stream again each time. Oh yeah, you heard me right. You can switch from your desktop camera to your phone camera to your laptop camera, back to your desktop camera, quickly and easily. You can also use different devices to control the stream itself. It's so simple, no stress, no messing about. Imagine the unique moments you can create in your stream. The best bit, Streamster is simple and has a low CPU load, finally. After trying it out myself, I really have to say it's refreshing to have a user-friendly streaming platform. You can run it from a browser web app, a desktop app, or even get it as an app on your phone. Let me show you how easy it is to get it going. The Streamster web app is designed for restreaming only. However, the Streamster desktop app, while maybe not as powerful as OBS Studio, is much easier to set up and use, and has all the features a streamer would need. We'll cover the desktop app later. For now, let's look at the web app. So right now, I'm on the web app, app.streamster.io. How do we stream using OBS? Let's click OBS Studio, and here we have a stream URL and a stream key. If we go to settings in OBS Studio, we go to stream here, we want to copy this URL and this key into OBS. Let's click apply and okay. And then we can start streaming. As you can see, the stream is currently working. It's streaming, everything seems to be going well. I'm streaming to the cloud. I've got my YouTube connected, my Facebook connected. Let's add another channel, Steam, for example. And you'd have to put in the URL and then the stream key as well, which you'll get from Steam and we can add that as a channel. So that will be ready to restream to just by hitting play there. So how about OBS? I want to use my camera here through OBS. Okay, so I've just added OBS, which is on my desktop as a device and it's using my camera in OBS. And at any time you can turn these channels off and on uh, just with the click of a button. So let's turn YouTube off, Facebook off, I want to go live on YouTube in the same stream, just turn it back on and that should connect. Let's turn Facebook back on and that should connect as well. So it's really easy to just uh, stop and start your streams without actually having to really stop and start your stream just on the different platforms. If you want to have different settings for different devices, maybe different resolutions or frames per second or whatever, um, you can click the transcoding option and then you can choose which channels are actually being transcoded and which ones stay in the original form. Let's say we want to transcode the YouTube channel stream. Um, we can change the uh, resolution, uh, the frames per second and also the bitrate. And if we want to include Facebook, we can just drop it down like that. If we want Facebook to be original, just lift it back up there. This is the desktop app. It's really customizable and there are lots of incredible features. So let's go ahead and start by adding a layer. Maybe we'll add my webcam. And you can resize that layer. You could make it full or just put it small in the corner there. Let's put it up there. Let's go ahead and add another layer. Maybe uh, an image for a bit of a background. This is a, an image I opened on my PC. You can just select one on your PC there. We'll open that. Let's maximize it. Send it down a layer. You can flip it if you want. You can flip your camera if you want. Um, what if you want a video in the background? Well, you could add another layer. <laughs> 
add all the layers you can um, and then you could capture your whole screen if you've got another screen or if you want to share your current screen uh, or you can add a window capture so I'll go to uh, window capture here and I'll click my um, YouTube video that I've got open now again you could maximize that and maybe if you want it to totally fill the screen you could drag those corners and make it fit just nicely like that maybe another little another little drag will help there we go and let's uh, send that down so I'm here uh, maybe we want to add a web page as well for whatever reason let's type in the streamster.io URL and the web page will be loading there. Let's add another layer. Um, what about a camera? So you can add another camera if you've got one connected. So I've got many cam connected. Uh, so you could put that there in the corner. You can imagine what that would look like or snap camera as well. So you'd have to add them as separate layers. That's that. Another really cool feature is you can choose whether or not it captures your cursor. I think that's a really cool feature. You don't often get to choose that. <laughs> You can also control your audio using the uh, volume slider there or mute yourself or select a different audio device um, or turn on your desktop audio, your audio output, turn that on or off, control that there. Yeah, it's uh, really simple and easy to use. So we've actually got some effects here. So we can change the brightness, bring that up, bring it down, let's turn that off. You can mess with the contrast, bring it up, uh, the coldness or warm. You know, there are lots of filters to play around with to make your stream uh, really look as good as, well, as good as you can make it look. <laughs> so now switching over to my laptop, which is down here, let's switch the webcam over on the stream. So you can see it's uh, connected to my laptop camera here. And I actually also have OBS open with another camera connected to the laptop. Um, and I'm using it as a virtual camera. So I can just switch to that from the laptop or on the PC, I can switch to that from the PC. So back to the laptop camera, back to the external camera or back to my OBS on my laptop. So you can change which device you're streaming from or which video feed you're getting on your stream from either device. Uh, we can zoom in on that. We can take a look around the city. Oh, just play around with it, you know. Remember that using a VPN encrypts all internet traffic from your PC to improve privacy and security. You can also use a VPN to stream to platforms which are blocked in your area. And that brings us lastly to what I think is amazing, the web app. So let's press that and you can see the stream is here with YouTube and Facebook connected. I didn't connect Steam yet and it's already streaming why don't we change the camera to my front camera? All right, now you can see me here. Let's change it to the back camera. And that's the, uh, this is my laptop set up here, my desktop and the camera looking out to the city, as you can see. And also from here, I can change uh, whichever source is on the stream. So I can change it back to OBS. Um, on my desktop, we can turn the video preview on. Right now, the video preview on mobile is a little bit slow. It's a little bit delayed, but uh, that's something that's being worked on. On the PC here, I can switch it back to the front camera, switch it to the back camera, uh, switch it to the virtual camera, or even switch it back to the laptop camera. Um, all in a few simple clicks. So here I've got the desktop app set up with three layers and I've also connected to that with my phone, with the phone app. So let's um, turn on the video preview and we should see a little bit delayed, but we should see uh, 
those three layers. We've got an image layer in the background, a video layer on the left, which is a zoomed in window capture of YouTube, um, and then my camera pointing out to the street on the right. We can stream to any platform just by clicking the platform on the phone. So we've got complete control. Let's uh, just press YouTube and you can see the desktop app reacts to that and now it's connected and streaming to YouTube. Let's turn that off just by tapping it again on the phone. Done, nice and easy. Another great feature is controlling the zoom and move of the camera source from the phone. So let's um, tap the magnifying glass there and we'll zoom in two times and it reacts almost immediately. And we can also uh, just move around on that camera. Um, this is just a static camera. It's not a moving camera. It's only because I've zoomed in that I can do that. Let's zoom in a bit more and then let's zoom all the way out. We can also change the audio settings from the phone, remote control. So let's click the settings tab there. Um, right now I'm using the uh, Logitech G Pro X headset. So that's the microphone, but I can just switch that to my Yeti just by tapping it there. Uh, right now everything's muted. So to unmute the desktop audio and listen to the piano music of this video, we can just unmute it there and it should start playing through the phone. Can turn that down a little. Okay. Turn it back up. Back to full. Let's mute that again. And you can see there's a little bit of a delay there. And then let's um, turn on the, let's go for the headset microphone and just unmute that. And now it should be picking that up as well. I mean, you can see the desktop app that. is and now it should be picking reacting that up to as that. Well. I mean, you can see the desktop app is okay. reacting to that. <laughs> so I had to mute that before everything gets a little crazy, but um, you can see it's working as it should. So essentially you can control your stream from different devices, using different devices and streaming from different devices. It's pretty powerful. So that's Streamster. Powerful, clean and affordable. How affordable? Well, you can grow your audience for as little as zero dollars a month. Oh yeah, it's free. Two channels, 4K resolution, 60 frames per second, totally free. If you want to buff your plan up with useful features such as more channels, a higher bit rate, transcoding, and a VPN, you're looking at $15 to $75 a month, depending on your plan. And you don't have to put in the hours to learn how to use it like you do with other platforms. Make your streaming content stand out and grow your audience with Streamster. Thanks for listening.